What's up guys, welcome to your 114th Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again with me, Travis. What we're going to do in this tutorial, we're going to set up 20 new variables and uh, just get them going. And I'm just kidding, because uh, we're done setting up variables. I know we've set up quite a few and you're probably like, what is going on? Um, but uh, we're done with the variables, no more. Now we're just going to reference them. And what we're going to do is we're, we're going to set up this onCreate method within our, you know, our database helper class. And this is basically going to create our database for us. So uh, let's just get into it. Uh, we're going to learn a little bit about SQL programming. Uh, not much, though, but uh, a little bit. So the first thing is when this onCreate method gets called, it gets passed in a SQL light database called DB. And we're actually going to access that database and execute some SQL or SQL code. So how we're going to do that is we're just going to reference the database that's being passed in called DB, and we're going to use a method called execute SQL. As you can see, it takes a string. So we're going to click that, and basically we're going to write some SQL code here. So we're just going to hit enter a few times, or delete that and hit enter a few times open up our bracket and close it off here. So what we want to do is we want to set up our database um, and how we do that is we use the command called create table because again uh, our database is going to be a table so we're gonna within quotations we're gonna say create table create space table like that and then we're gonna hit space you guys have to follow along pretty closely here make sure everything's accurate so the SQL can be executed so we're going to have this command called create table and then what we're going to do is we're going to reference our uh, basically our table name so our table name was called database table right here um, so we're just going to say database table database underscore table and then we're going to hit uh, plus and then quotations again and we're going to hit a space because again our database table is you know like just like that so we want to have a space there and then we're going to hit open parenthesis sign now what we're going to do is we're going to set up basically the columns within our table and we have three columns we have one for a row ID we have one for our name and one for our hotness so um, I'm just going to hit uh, plus here and hit enter down to the next row there and how we set up our columns now is we're just going to say uh, key underscore row ID and then we're gonna hit plus and basically how SQL works is we set up our you know our column and then we tell it what kind of column it needs to be you know what type of variable that is what we're working with um, so we're gonna say plus and then quotation space and we're gonna say integer so integer and uh, because you know our columns even though it's defined as a string up above here um, basically we're going to use this as an integer because it's going to be row 1, row 2, row 3, etc. And what we also want to do is every time you know uh, we enter a new row we want to add 1 to the row ID. Um, so it'll be like row 1, 2, 3, etc. And we do that by saying primary key because this is basically how we're going to access all of our rows by the whatever number it is. So it's going to be the primary key and we're going to say auto increment comma space so there we go we set up our first column and it's our row ID and it's going to be an integer with the primary key um, that we're going to look for later and it's going to auto increment so it's going to be one two three four etc and now what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, we're basically going to set up our second column so again you had a comma space in quotations plus and then we need to set up our second column which we call the key underscore name and then again plus quotations space and we're gonna say text because uh, it's just you know instead of string SQL use text and we're also gonna say not null comma space and basically that's gonna say you know uh, it's going to be a text value of some sort. So again, we're going to hit plus and set up our last column. So that was called key hotness. And again, plus quotations space 
and this is also going to be a text and not null. We could have had this set up as an integer because again it's on a value 1 to 10 but you know I'm just going to convert it into a string because it's a little bit easier and uh, you know whatever. So we're going to reference that as a, as a text or a string if you guys want to think of it that way and uh, and we're pretty much set up we've pretty much set up all of our columns so we need to end quotations or end our parentheses right here um, so we're just going to add that after our null and then we just need to hit our execute statement right there so uh, there we go that's basically going to set up our database and there we go we're pretty much done for this tutorial we've set up our database because we're getting in a database passed in and we're executing some SQL code which is going to create a table um, called our table name and then it's gonna you know within parentheses we're gonna add all of our columns first column is gonna be just a integer that's gonna increment automatically and we reference that with our key row ID um, our name we also is gonna have a text uh, for a second column and our third column is gonna be hotness so there we go we've set up our our, uh, our database within our onCreate method and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial uh, we'll, we'll set up some more stuff for this database, so have a good one.